Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.41 Therefore, O Arjuna, best of the descendants of Bharata, in the very beginning of your spiritual life, control your senses in order to completely slay this embodiment of evil, lust, which is the destroyer of both wisdom, jnana, and realization of me, vijjana. Sar Ardhavarshini, by conquering the place where the enemy has taken shelter, the enemy is conquered. This is the strategy. It is progressively more difficult to control the senses, the mind and the intelligence, which are the seeds of karma, the desire to enjoy. It is very difficult to control the senses, but they are easier to control than the mind and intelligence. Therefore, first conquer your senses. Sri Bhagavan speaks this verse beginning with the word tasmat, just as to explain this point. Although the mind, which is very difficult to control, runs after enjoying another's wife and wealth, you should understand what is happening. This is only the work of the senses, such as the eyes, ears, hands and legs. One should control these senses by not allowing them to pursue their respective objects. Papmanam means to give up this fear serious desire to enjoy. In this way, if a person gradually controls his senses, his mind will also become free from lust in due course of time. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti Assisted by the senses, these powerful lust uses the ropes of delusion to bind the jivas who are averse to Sri Bhagavan. Therefore, it is imperative from the outset to control the senses such as the eyes. When the external senses are thus controlled, the mind, whose function is sankalpa, decision or determination, and vikalpa, indecision or doubt, will also be controlled. Sri Bhagavan also spoke thus to Uddhava. Vishayendriya samyogan manaha shubhyati Nanyata, Srimad Bhagavatam 11.26.22 The mind becomes restless only when the senses come in contact with the sense objects, not otherwise. Asam brayu gyataha pranan shamyati stimmitam manaha Srimad Bhagavatam 11.26.23 Therefore, the mind of a person who has control over his senses becomes stable and peaceful. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur quotes Krishna as saying, Therefore, O best of the descendants of Bharata, by first controlling the senses and mind, conquer this extremely formidable lust which destroys both knowledge and realization of me. Destroying lust, which is a distortion of pure love of God, Prema, reinstate yourself in your own constitutional nature by taking shelter of Prema. The first commendable duty of a conditioned soul is to follow the principles of genuine renunciation, and to pursue one's prescribed duties. Thus, by gradually attaining the stage of sadhana bhakti, he should perform sadhana to attain brahma bhakti. Unalloyed devotion is attained by my mercy or by the mercy of my devotee. It is very rare. and some cases, it manifests without any cause.